It's very important to keep in mind that if you decide to update your device to the latest iOS 18 betas without taking precautions and you do it the wrong way, you could lose all your data that's on your device and worst case scenario, you could completely break out your device. Thankfully, this is my job and I've been doing this for five years and I've put five important safety steps that every iPhone user that's attempting to update their device needs to follow in order to make sure that this process goes as smooth and seamless as possible. The first safety step that you want to follow is not to install the initial betas of iOS 18 on your main device. You want to go ahead and install these updates on a secondary or backup device, one that you don't use on a daily. And the reason you want to do this is because the first initial updates tend to be buggy and most applications, including ones that are for banking or crucial apps aren't optimized yet. So this is a crucial and very important first step. Step number two that you want to follow is to remove any old iOS 16 or older beta profiles that might be on your device. Last year with iOS 17, we actually didn't get beta profiles to be able to update our devices. There was a new and updated method, same as this year. So if you haven't updated your device in a long time and you're still using it, you want to go ahead and remove any previous iOS 16 or older profiles that might have some sort of control over your device so you go to settings and then you want to go to general and if you go all the way down to where it says VPN and device management right there besides your VPN if you see any other profiles that are related to iOS then you want to go ahead and delete those in doing this keep in mind that if you have an organization issued device like for work or school then you might not have the privilege or the authorization to do this so in that case you would need to check with your systems admin or your IT department in order to give you clearance to do this after deleting the profile what I advise you do is to then restart your device you can always press volume up and volume down and then press and hold the power button and swipe and restart your device to give it a fresh restart without the previous profile that used to have some sort of authority over the device. The fourth safety step that you want to follow is to make sure you back up your device. Now on the iPhone, there's multiple ways you can back up your data. You can do this pretty simply on the iPhone by using iCloud, which you find by going into your settings and then go to your Apple ID. Right here, you can see we have iCloud. And if you go down a little bit, you see we have iCloud backup. And if you click on your backup, you can see you have the ability to backup your device right now. So click backup and then it will begin the backup process just to make sure that you have a backup in case you need to restore your data. Another pretty common way people back up their device is using Finder if you have a MacBook or Mac device or if you have a Windows device then you can use iTunes to be able to do this. The last safety step is to make sure that your device is charged up to a reasonable percentage. If you have a device that has a very low battery maximum health capacity then you definitely need to charge it up to a higher percentage or what's even better than that is to make sure that your device is connected to the charger through the whole update and download process then this way you don't have to worry about your device running out of battery which could be detrimental and actually break your device with those five important safety steps out of the way this is how you're going to update your device to the latest ios 18 betas you won't actually need a public beta profile or developer beta profile but you will need an account of the two. The first type of account that you might want to create is called a developer account. Open the browser of your choice and then you want to go to this website developer.apple.com. You can see it right there. This is safe and is officially from Apple open the website and once you are on the site it will look something like this and you want to go ahead in the top left corner click the two dots and go to where it says account now i'll just click where it says account right here and you can see here it's prompting me to sign in with my apple developer account or if you don't have one you want to create go to where it says create yours now and once you can create your account here using your apple id then 
you will come up to a screen that says click enroll today you don't have to click enroll as long as you've created an account and you've signed in then you'll be good to go there's two types of developer accounts so the one that we just created is this one that says sign in with your apple id but if you want there's a apple developer program which is for people that usually create applications and software and submit to apple but you can see this one here is free so you see there it's free but the one that is on this side which is the apple developer program you have to pay 99 us dollars per year and it's renewed annually but for the purposes of ios 18 you can see that operating system beta releases are actually free so all you need to do is sign in with your apple id like i showed you now what you want to do on your device is go into settings and then go to general and then go to where it says software update right here if you are still testing previous ios 17 betas you will see a screen that looks like this and you want to go ahead and click from that and go to ios 18 betas and you will see the developer beta since you created a developer account if you didn't see the ios 18 betas after you pop up this screen and you've signed in with your developer account you want to click on beta updates where it says all and then go back and restart your device and then after restarting your device go into settings and go to software update and this time around go to where it says beta updates and then ios 18 betas will show up as the developer beta at this point in time this is just a demo to guide you as to what to do when the update is officially available this developer account method that i'm showing you right now is the first way that you can download ios 18 or similarly ipad os 18 developer betas to your device however there is a second and somewhat safe way to be able to update or experience ios 18 betas and it's found by creating not a developer beta but as you can see here an apple public beta account so you can find this by going to this website beta.apple.com and once you've opened up the website you can see here it will have loaded up or pre-populated ios 18 and ipad os 18 and all the latest software updates here and what you want to do is sign up if you don't have an account or if you have an account already you want to go ahead and click where it says sign in once you've signed up the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go into your settings and then go to software update and go to where it says beta updates and click there and select ios 18 public betas or if you don't see this you want to click beta updates off and then go back and restart your device and then come back to this page and go to where it says beta updates and you should be able to see ios 18 public betas something to keep in mind is that using the public beta method to download your ios 18 betas is somewhat of a safe method because public betas are released about one month to about six weeks after the first developer beta so the public beta comes out later but at the same time the developer betas since they come out first they usually tend to have the most bugs and issues that are software related and by the time the first public beta comes out it's not 100% polished but it's way better than the first developer beta that comes out initially when the iOS 18 betas are released. That's how you're going to basically be updating to iOS 18, the first developer beta, or if you choose the public beta account, then you can use the public beta method. Do keep in mind the five important safety steps highlighted at the beginning of this video, as if you update your device in the wrong way, or you run out of juice or something happens and you can't recover your data or worst case scenario you do it the wrong way you could break your device so that's about it for me i'll be testing ios 18 from the first beta up to the initial release just before the iphone's 16 series come out so if that's a journey that you want to see here or you want to follow along then definitely hit that like and support the channel and subscribe so that you don't miss out peace